All right, Model Rockets 321 here. Welcome back to the channel. I have another video for you today. Today we're going to talk about scratch building, kit bashing, and that kind of subject and um, various techniques and things I've done to get my models looking pretty nice. You know, after a few launches, you know, you're going to get some broken fins <laughs> or not. You know, I've had a lot of success with most of my rockets. Some of them don't break fins. Sometimes they do. Um, but for the most part, this is just a scratch building video. We're going to take a look at um, this book right here by Peter Allway. It's a scale bash and rocket to the world, the spiral version. I also have a hardback version of this considered the Bible um, when it comes to rocketry. Um, all many rockets from many countries are in here. Pretty much all of them. They got it covered other than they're like the very new, new stuff. But um, he has a lot of rockets in there and he has some supplement editions with more rockets like missiles from the cold war u.s side and the russian side just all types of stuff is in his other supplements but scale bash is pretty rare um, i got this years and years ago i just held on to it i've actually built quite a few rockets. actually there's a doorknob right there that i built from this book there it is right there sd's re um sd's have a version of this out right now a little more details i noticed because some of the parts some of the details aren't shown in the plans that I had and I didn't have any photos at the time but overall I'm happy with it I built a little rail um the rail lugs there so and I have it so it can fly with the you know standard launch lugs quarter inch but yeah so we're gonna talk about um scratch building I built scratch built all every rocket you see right here I've scratch built and this is one that's still in progress right here it's un, unnamed right now it's just um, something from my imagination you can see I got the spiral lines fill, have a couple tanks on there. This one little tank on the side can take a 13 millimeter engine, but in the center will be a 18 millimeter motor mount or engine mount. Um, I just have some detailing parts because this is what it's about right here. It's about adding details. This is just something from my imagination. You add all kind of little raceways and little detail parts. And it's so weird because I feel like I've done this video already. <laughs> it seemed like there may be another video up talking about scratch building. Um, if you check back in the archives, so this may be just a like a revisit. Um, so this is one that I've been working on. It's not glued, uh, like the cone's not glued. You can see I kind of bashed the cone. That's a balsa little bulkhead, and this cone is cut from the top of another cone. So I'm just you know you let let the imagination go, it's like some kind of some kind of big launch vehicle. Who knows what it would be for? And I'll have decals and stuff made. There's another raceway with another little conduit box there and. Do what you do. Do what you do. You have to sand it down, and once you prime it, all these pieces will be raised surfaces that will be detailed markings. So that's that one, just um, figment of my imagination or something from my imagination. Here's another one from my imagination. I call it the Venus Aries. As you can see, I got a VA right there, and it says Thiokol right there. It says the People's Space Corporation. Just getting into the whole thing that you know, you got these big budgets for these projects, and this is something that. In my imagination the people um wanted and the people funded you know those that were willing and some companies of course you know got behind it but that's what this rocket is and another it's similar to this one in the respects that i you know painted and just detailed it all out man just detailing i could see some of the paint actually chipped from the launch lug which i had mounted to the cone this payload section i believe has its own cord has its own uh not cord parachute Got USA there, got the US flag there, a couple roll checkers, a couple tanks, some more tanks here, a couple little fall away tanks, and got some little detailing there when it comes to the nozzles, angled nozzles, and it flies on 18 millimeters. There's a little pipe there, a little ventilation pipe, or whatever, whatever the imagination wants it to be. So I shaped all these parts here. Um, from balsa wood and glued them on. It's been flown several times. Had a little pointed cone at the tip. I made this cone. I built that cone, painted it blue. Went with the blue and white scheme. It's kind of borrowing from, um, I guess, the Long March or one of the Chinese rockets or Delta, something. Just you know, you borrow from wherever and you know you create. So this is, these two are, this one here, the sun paint, and this one here. You know, things from my imagination. So just gets you in the mood to you know to scale. To not necessarily scale, but to uh, scratch build some things. And now we're going to move on to, but well, before we move on, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, please subscribe. I may be doing another giveaway 
I got so many subscribers over on Instagram. I want to get this channel built up even more. And I'm going to probably do a rocket giveaway again. I did one a while ago, gave away a bunch of stuff. So I may have another giveaway coming soon. Maybe at the 5,000 sub mark over on Instagram, I may do a giveaway. I want this channel to build up a little more. And then over here, I may do a giveaway. Maybe two giveaways. So I'm just going to see. That's in the, a little in the future as we continue to grow and share this hobby with you and share my ideas and share my tips. And I appreciate you guys commenting. I may not be able to get to all of them all the time as I am busy sometimes. But I do appreciate it and I see you guys. So we're going to keep that, keep that energy going. Keep sharing this hobby. And that's what we're going to do. Be sure to visit the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space related merchandise. So as we take a look at these rockets on the table, these are all scratch built. Um, I built them by, like I said, from either Rockets of the World or just other plans and other diagrams I have, you know, my literature and stuff. Um, these are some of my favorites. The doorknob is always a cool looking one. I always liked it. Um, it has a booster too. I don't have the booster, but there's a, this rocket's really a boosted rocket. Um, it's really a boosted rocket from the 60s. So I think it flew into the 70s too. Yeah, maybe even 80s if I'm not mistaken. So you got the doorknob, Lil Joe 1 that I love so much. I've flown this many, many missions. Lil Joe 2, the Apollo Lil Joe 2. And we got the Dauphin right here, which is a French sounding rocket from across the pond. So it's another old school rocket, 60s, 70s, maybe 80s. Flown them for research. And um, I'll talk about this one. So this one's had been through, I've had it for many years, many, many flights on it by now. Um, Fin got cracked a few times, had a couple motor failures, one turned over, core, core sampled as I call it, stuck right in the ground. Still well preserved, you can see a little, little paint chipping there, but overall it's good. The cone, it, when it separated, the cone came down on the parachute, the body turned over, stuck in the soft soil. Luckily it had just rained in Arizona. So that worked out well when it comes to this rocket. Oh, oh, sorry about that guys, I didn't this, let me get this rocket straight, rocket falling over, all right. That always happens in my videos for some reason. I'm always knocking rockets over. So back to the Dolphin. Um, like I said, French sounding rocket turned over, had a had a crash, but a minor one. I mean it stuck in the stuck in the soft soil. And um, everything went well. So for as far as this build, it was just building out these spin motors for the each of the fins, getting these parts built here from balsa, a little sanding, a little shaping. Nose cone was made by a guy by I think his name is Gordon Angelo. He's famous in this hobby. If he's the salmon, I could be mistaken, my guys. But anyway, they had this cone, balsa turn nose cone. It comes apart right here. So all that went with a steel color here, and then went with this silver aluminum, and then just some masking off and painting and then detailing with some black stripping tape and foil tape. I uh, had my decals made. I was making decals at the time, not anymore, but these are full color. Black and yellow water slides. Just like, I just followed them with the, the images I had. That's what I do. I follow what I had. The Dolphin is a cool rocket. Super stable. That's one thing about these uh, sounding rockets. They are stable. These are already proven designs. They are really stable. And as we move to the Little Joe 1, which I've talked about in this channel already. I love it. It's a great, great rocket. Scratch built. Guy by the name of Yitta Wu. Somebody gave me the plans um, and I went on and built the little Joe one from those plans using the mercury capsule. You had to build a transition around the tube. This is actually a paper wrap that I scored. I don't know if you can see those score lines right there. It's not just one smooth sheet. Now I put the holes in there where the rivets would be. You can see there. So it comes down capsule and it comes down with the booster. And I have to check the painting on this because I'm I saw I think a James Duffy video where I think one the inside of one of these fins is supposed to be black. I have the full fluorescent orange. I'm thinking one of these is supposed to be black. I've seen a few things on that so far. I think um James is the one that point that out. Um shout out to him. Great rocketeer. He's been doing it for a long time. A lot of skills, a lot of build skills, good good guy. So I'm gonna check. So I'm gonna check on that. I may be making a change to this rocket. Um, another one that has many missions. I think Tang Tango may have made these decals for me. I think he scaled those and drew them out and made those for me. This is just redstone capsule, so that was easy. Um, so that's Little Joe 1. Now we're going to do, let's do Little Joe 2 next. Another rocket that I love. Little Joe 2. 
Apollo Lojo 2. Um, this version, I did a lot of sanding and filing. It's pretty cool. I like it. I'm happy with it. Flown many missions, many, many missions. You can see it's getting that little burn around the ejection, which I don't mind. I don't have to, I like it. Don't have to be new, new. I'm not entering any competitions. It's, it's cool. Capsule came from Apogee, Apogee Components. Bought it years ago. This rocket is very old. I mean, I had it for a long time. I just took my time building it out. Got the little wrap, corrugated wrap, which is styrene. I think it's evergreen. Water slide decals. I made all those myself. Got a little splitting here on this one. But like I said, cool with it. Don't bother me. It's a flyer. It was in retirement. Recently flew it. If you check the videos, you'll see it in action. It's kind of back in retirement now. Because <laughs> you know, some you just don't want that motor to not fail that day. So, Lojo 2 doing good and while we're at it hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so now we're going to move on guys let's move over to the doorknob SD's like I said SD's release one looks pretty nice I have that kit just not built the one I have here I have this pointy needle on here I'm not sure if that was an antenna or what that was used for on the real one but according to the plans and always book I, I built it according to that so um that's what you see here and i'm not going to change anything i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it as is got this white and fluorescent um roll pattern got my silver rings or whatever there got this black piece here these are openings actually because i believe when i read it it said these were supposed to be cut they were openings it flies great with those little openings there but on sd's version there are a lot more i think you can see brackets that hold the fins on which are pretty cool looking i really like that kit they did a good job with it you know, I think they had a lot more access to, you know, some of the materials and blueprints to get it just right. But that's my version right there. And um, these are things I've done with scratch building. Like I said, guys, um, back to this example. In this example, use whatever. If you're scratch building something fictional, you know, you can, you can disguise the limit. Don't be held back. Use any kind of detailing materials. Keep it lightweight, of course. Like, as you can see here, I'm, you know, doing all kind of things with the raceways and with balsa wood and little pieces of this and piece of that. You can use um, toothpicks. You can use little wood dowels. Here's some example of some, like, there's a wood dowel. You can use that for little, little raceways and different stuff like that. So that's what you do. Have an imagination. Unless you're building something that's historical, then you want to follow what it's supposed to be but that's um that's my take on it um just and then just taking your time like i'm an, i'm also an artist like people don't not paint and I, i'm an artist but so some of this stuff and i've been doing it for a long time some of this stuff comes easy you know there are people that are very good too some very good um rocketeers out there i see some stuff in the groups all the time it's like amazing great some great work out there so scale bash this book is pretty cool it's just talking about how you can take you can build and fly scale model rockets from non-scale commercial kits. Basically, you can get an SD's kit. You may need the boat tail or you may need the fins. You may need something from it. Actually, here's my doorknob. Yep, so I, I printed off a copy of this. That was a fin pattern right there. I upscaled this. And I am just got it all matched out and then scaled it to the right size to make that one right there. So here's some um, scale rockets and telling you the different parts to use. D-Region Tomahawk, cool sounding rocket. There's the S520, the V2, Sandhawk, Sandhawk's cool. All oh, these are cool. Oh, I really love, I had, this rocket's great too, the Ares, the old school, this is a vintage old Ares. Yes, yeah, so the Ares is a solid, it says the Ares is a solid fueled sounding rocket built around the second stage of the Minuteman missiles. See, they would take those missiles and then, you know, use it, you know, use them for research and stuff. It's a shame they didn't lead it the other way. It would have been great if they would have made the rockets not as weapons first. Everything had to be a weapon first, you know, military. Then, I guess the leftovers or whatever it could become stuff for research and, and cool stuff. But the war was first. But anyway, not the story. I have this. I've scratch built this high deck. I have one around here somewhere. Javelin. I had a javelin. I don't know if I still have that anymore. I gotta dig through my. I have some rockets that are packed away, wrapped all up. That I gotta pull some of that stuff out and start flying. But yeah, so this is Scale Bash. Um, a great book. A great book. He gives you a lot, of, a lot of information here. Astro B. Did. Yeah. So this is just a great, great book right here. And of course, Rocket to the World is another, another great book. As I stated earlier, I mean, 
can't go wrong with this book. I mean, everything's in there. Everything you need to know. Details. And I also wonder is some of the stuff. It's funny that I turned to this rocket. Did you know I have a funny story about this Juno one? Yeah, here it is right here. Nice. I like this rocket too. Yeah, but I forgot what I was about to say. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, scratch building. It's possible. Because some kits, some things, some rockets aren't in kits just yet. They come out later sometimes. I noticed. I've had both of these that have been released. I had these before they came out as kits by Estes. I, both of these are released now by Estes, but I scratch built them first. So that's kind of cool. Now, I actually bought the kits too. I bought the Estes versions, but I had scratch built them before they were available. Sometimes stuff comes out. Like, I was like, wow, I'm su surprised. I was like, that's cool. I wonder if that'll come out one day. The Dolphin. I don't know. That'd be cool though. I'd get one. But yeah, so that's some um, scratch building, you guys. It's, it's doable, it's possible. Just take your time and um and do your thing. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Check the links. And we will be back with more. Should be a launch video coming up soon. And I appreciate you guys. Check the Instagram at Model Rockets321 over on Instagram. And we're gonna keep this progress going. And I am out. Be sure to visit the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise.